hello everyone welcome back to another video in this video we will create uh, a table using react table okay this library yeah we will use react table library and to create this uh, type of a table okay it is very easy to use this uh, library and also we can add more functionalities using this library uh, like uh, filtering sorting and other functionalities so now let's get started to create this table so first of all to create this uh, let's do the Visual Studio code. So here uh, I have already created the react app and in the react app uh, We have these files. Okay app.css which uh, I wrote the CSS the design of that table. Okay and app.jsx here we will write our react code and also a fake data.json file uh, where I have a few records of users. Okay, so let's check the users I have copied the users from this uh, API demijson.com slash users from this API. I copied these user and pasted them in this vector JSON uh, file. Okay, so now let's first of all import this in our app.jsx import fake data from fake data.json and also let's import uh, uh, our table. Okay, using from react table import use table yeah it should be in curly braces from react table after importing them so now let's use them okay so first of all we will just define our data and columns uh, okay we will import data from this fake data so let's create uh, variable const data is equal to um, we will use use memo hook okay as for the documentation of react table use memo hook it is a hook of react and here we will pass in a row function and we will use fake data here okay fast fake data that we have imported here okay this fake data and also a dependency all right dependency this is our data that we will display on the screen and let's define our uh, columns const columns is equal to use memo hook and also create in a row function and here um, now we will just use an array and here we will pass our columns the columns that we would like to display here okay on the screen so let's create the objects for them so the first object the first property would be the header okay header and in the header we will what we would like to display on the screen for example we would like to display the id and here the accessor this is what the data that we will fetch from this data okay the accessor would be this id this name okay let's write id so after that let's copy this and we will just play three or more four columns yeah five columns so the second one would be the first name uh, this should be separated we will display this on the screen and this would be the data that we would like to display from the file last name and this would be the age and also the gender okay, after defining the columns so let's uh, write here our array dependency to this hook and after that so now let's create the table so just come here table and in the table we have t head and also t body in the t head we have our header and in the t body we have our rows or color data and here just come here to the t head and we will pass a few properties to this first to the table come here uh, but uh, before passing these properties so let's import a few um, a few proper properties from this use table from this use table okay so let's come here down and use const just import uh, uh, git table props and also git 
table body props and uh, header props header groups and rows prepare row is equal to the start game from use table and pass the columns and data to that columns and data to that yeah after distracting them so now let's use them so now let's use these uh, methods and props okay first of all we will use this git table props for the table these are the props for the table so let's use them so to use them just distract them git table props and after that let's come here to the t head and inside the t head we will use this header group to go through headers okay so let's use them header groups that map and here are header let's create a uh, map function and uh, inside it here we will create a tr an html um, element okay and inside it we will use dot header group header just header that we have here okay this one header dot git header group uh, props yeah so it will get the props the header props and assign them to this uh, row okay so inside the um, table row so let's write this header the header that we have okay header dot headers dot map goes through uh, goes go through those headers sorry what i have written and I should write them here header dot headers dot map and column create an arrow function create the parentheses uh, inside the parentheses uh, we will just uh, create another element which is th so inside that we will just get the header um, props so we will write like this okay column uh, dot git header props it will get sorry git uh, header props so it will get the um, header props and now we will just render these headers okay these names which we have so to end, uh, render them just write uh, them here column dot render and just write the header okay so it will render these names that we have okay just correct this yeah it is my function so it was all about this okay it is a little bit confusing okay but uh, it is very helpful when you are creating a data table like adding a more functionalities so now let's render the data okay to display the data let's come here to the t body and inside the t body let's come here and in the t body i will just write something like uh, git table body props okay now we will get the body the table body props okay we will use this method now so after that let's use these rows okay to fetch the rows let's write sorry just come here and write rows dot map creating arrow function and inside that uh, let's uh, just use um, the parentheses the curly braces and inside that we will use prepare row okay this one and we will pass row to that okay this one we will use this method props so why it display the error to us just add a parenthesis here and yeah, the error has gone now and just come here down and we will write return here and inside the return we will create a table row and in the table row I will pass the row dot git row props git row props it will just get the props to this row 
okay and inside this table row we will um, just use the row dot sales all sales okay it will get the sales dot map go through all sales and in the map function we will just assign uh, a seal yeah we will get just a single seal create a map function and pass create the parenthesis and inside the parenthesis so now we will just use the table data element okay yeah to this table data i will just get the seal props so i will just write seal dot get seal props and let's render now the seal okay to render all the seals means the seals that we have in every row so for that we will write seal dot render cell yeah i hope it will work so let's save it and the app is running already okay it is running so let's check it now so let's come here and refresh the page uh, we paste with an error let's come here to the console yeah so the error the error is that here we should assign this to the column uh, dot okay column dot header uh, dot props so just save it let's check them right now yeah again we paste with error i will just solve that so this is just mm, git header props yeah it is okay so we got all those the data okay that we have in our file so let's check that okay this is the data that we have so we pitched all the data in the table it looks like this okay just i wrote the css design already okay so here the case is not the css just a simple a few line of css code but uh, we have used the this react table library okay so we created just a simple table using react table library i hope this video was helpful for you so if you like this video don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel and thanks for watching